Hi everybody, this is Greg Batista with G. Batista & Associates down here in South Florida, concrete repair engineer and contractor. And uh, today we're gonna talk a little bit about parking garages. Parking garages are very special structures. Uh, why? Because you can see that it's basically out in the open. Every single portion here is out in the open and it's subjected to the, the, the weather, it's subjected to the chlorides in the air where, the con where, where it comes into the concrete, makes contact with the steel, and that's what calls your, causes your spalls. So owners of, of, of these kind of buildings have to be on their toes and employ a periodic maintenance regiment in order to, to keep the maintenance going so that the building doesn't get damaged uh, as much and you don't have to be repairing, doing million dollar repairs every 10 years. You do maybe a few thousand dollars of repairs periodically, and that's much better than, uh, than the opposite. So these, these kinds of structures, as you can see, they're all open, beams, it's just very basic uh, construction, beams and columns. Every once in a while you have something like this, which is your, your construction joint, which allows this part of the building to move independent of this part of the building. But again, this is something The vast majority of the time, these structures, they, you have a lot of concrete repair as far as spalling, and you also have a lot of cracks. Most of the repairs that are done to these types of buildings involve cracks repairs and uh, spalling repairs. And just to show you a, an example of a spall repair, which is very typical for a parking, is these kind of things here. There's a big spall here. And you have pretty much spalling everywhere, bigger and smaller. That happens to be a uh, uh, a larger one and also you have cracks cracks all over the place this is a building all buildings move but when you have cars running over them you have heavy vehicles running over them you're gonna get movement and that leads to cracking cracking can happen for many reasons but in a parking garage you're gonna get a lot of this type of cracking here you can see this this crack here that's running along here there's a lot of this and I can just show you I mean I, I can just walk every few feet you can see another crack there. You can see another big crack right there. The way those cracks are fixed are, is to inject them. You pressure inject them with epoxy. Epoxy is a material. Basically, you, you take a machine, a grinder, and you route it out, you make the crack bigger so that the, the new material, whatever the engineer specifies, whether it's epoxy or, or whatever, uh, gets in there and gets into the crack. This was done some time ago and you can see the job pretty well done. That was done by a professional. As you keep walking, you can see more cracks, typical stuff, but over here you see a repair that somebody did that was not professionally done and you can tell that it's already it's, it's already starting to uh, fail again so this is why it's so important to get people who know what they're doing as far as designing it and know what they're doing as far as the construction because what happens is this and you're gonna end up paying for it twice so going back to the epoxy injection that you can use that for floors, you can use that for slabs, you can even use it for beams. Now you can tell that there's these beams here. This is by big old beam here. It goes, starts over here, ends over here. That's probably like a 60 foot span. Not a lot of times, these beams in the middle of the span is where you have a lot of the forces. you see you got this beam here you see where, where it's got a little where it's, where it's got like a little ridge there you see the other beam over here you've got one and two you can clearly see this one here where somebody's come in and they did a route and seal the same thing we saw over there on the sidewalk basically it's the same thing here they routed it they routed it here and up and that one and that one they routed the cracks and they injected it with epoxy. Now you can tell, 
I don't see any failure. Looks like these people did a good job. But anyway, this, this video is meant to just show you guys a little bit about how, about the parking garages, the basic structure, and the, just the basic repairs. So my, important, my most important advice here is that on a job like this, get a professional. Get a professional to help you design it, to employ the methodology, to do a quantification of how many cracks there are, which cracks are, are important and cr which cracks are not important. For example, you see something like this, to an untrained eye, that might look like a crack, but it's really not. I wouldn't have it repaired because uh, that's where the, where the original a good engineer to to do your to do your plans and specs and quantifications and then even more important get the right person to do the job